People have asked the question, are geniuses born or made, since eternity? But one man made it a mission of his life to answer this question with proof. Laszlo Polgar decided to experiment, to raise a child as a genius and prove to the world that hard work beats talent in the long run. After studying the lives and achievements of over 400 of the greatest intellectuals of the time, Laszlo believed he had identified the secret ingredient to high achievement, and that is early and intensive specialization in a particular subject. Laszlo rejected the idea of innate talent, and he believed that the public school system could only be successful in producing mediocre minds. He had the idea that with hard work and the right kind of environment, everybody could become a genius. A genius is not born, but is educated and trained. When a child is born healthy, it is a potential genius. Laszlo believed in this idea so strongly that he wanted to test it with his future children, and he was writing to Ukrainian foreign language teacher Clara because he needed a wife willing to jump on board with him. Laszlo's plan of proving the world wrong impressed Clara, and she got on board with the experiment of grooming three geniuses, and shortly after they got married and Clara got pregnant. Soon they had three kids. Laszlo decided chess would be a suitable field for the experiment, and thus he laid out a plan to raise his children to become grandmasters. The kids would be homeschooled, a rarity in Hungary at the time. Even right now it's rare. The house was filled with chess books and pictures of famous chess players. The children would play against each other constantly and compete in the best tournaments they could find. The family would keep a meticulous file system of the tournament history of every competitor the children faced. Their lives would be dedicated to chess. Soon after being born, those kids' curiosity was sparked by being raised in such chess-friendly environment. They became interested in chess, and with that, Polgar had not only one but three subjects for his experiment. So how good did the three sisters do in chess? The first daughter, Susan Polgar, at age five, Susan decimated all her opponents by winning the tournament with a 10-0 score. She was the first woman to qualify for the Men's World Championship in 1986. She went on to achieve the coveted title of a grandmaster in 1991. She became the first woman in history to win the chess triple crown. The second daughter, Sofia Polgar, Sophia Polgar went on to become the sixth top female chess player in the world. The third daughter, Judith Polgar, the best female chess player in history. Judith is considered the strongest female chess player of all time. Judith was the fastest to achieve the title of a grandmaster, men and women included, at the age of 15 years and 4 months. She was the youngest player to break into the top 100 players at the age of only 12. In the end, the story of the Polgar family puts an end to the debate, geniuses are made, not born.